Alright, here we are inside the uh, Get Up Radio uh, DJ station, and I am logged in, and in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to upload some music to your playlist. So, I'm going to click this button right here, Add to Playlist, and uh, you can see I've got 999 uh, slots for songs left. So, I'm going to go ahead and click the Browse button. I've got a song on my desktop that I want to add, it's called... Shaggy, Mr. Bootbastic, and you can either click here to get the title and author from the ID3 tag, so the MP3, or you can put it in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in here, Mr. Bootbastic. And I'm going to go to the top of my playlist, announce, and add to playlist. Great, and you can see that it has been added to my playlist at number one, and it's playing now. So, uh, another thing I want to show you guys in this video is what these other buttons do. So you can click here to customize your player, change all the colors, change the size of it, uh, change some of the settings, autoplay, loop, volume, shuffle. Uh, you can also click here and it will give you the code to embed this anywhere on the web so you can just copy this paste it into your website myspace facebook uh, fbml tag fan page just wherever you want on the web click here to see the podcast feed and this is my podcast feed you can see my uh, dj logo here the titles of the songs and the podcast uh, mp3 feeds this is itunes compatible so make sure you submit this RSS feed to iTunes and other R uh, podcast directories. And of course you can make it a pop-up player by clicking that button there. And now you can browse the site, listen to your own playlist, or someone else's playlist, and uh, keep the music flowing even if you change pages. Now, directly under your DJ station is going to be your music collection, and this is a great way to uh, keep track of your tracks and your albums and your artists, so you can add an album. Uh, as much information as there is, we're going to keep track of it. Great way to build up your collection. Now, if you have a lot of uh, MP3s or a lot of uh, CDs, then why not load them in here? Keep track of them online. You can access them anywhere on the web. Uh, anywhere with a computer with internet, you can get access to them. So it save you a lot of trips. If you're going to go do an actual DJ show in person, why bring all your CDs? Why not have them loaded in here, create a playlist on the fly? And let me go back to, uh, let me go to my station here. And uh, you can add an artist. So you typically you want to add an artist before you add an album. So you add the artist. <clears throat> As you can see, I already added uh, an artist, Eminem, and uh, the album Infinite. So I added some information for it. That I got the album cover uh, off of Google Images. And uh, so that is your music collection. Now, a great thing about this is that anyone who... who uh, who wants to edit music to our site can contribute and uh, that's going to help get up radio build its music collection as well as help you store and share you your music as a DJ typically when you visit someone's profile this will not show uh, this only shows on your profile and of course in this area we have advertisements you can create an ad here allows you to design the where does it add link to, the title, the body text and image, and uh, basically allows you to design your ad. So let's let's do a sample ad real quick. Put a little image in there.
Oh, uh, if you click this checkbox here, uh, this will be a default ad that will show when uh, no other ads are found for a particular user. So remember the system will only show a user ads uh, if that ad is targeted to them. So on the next page I'm going to unclick this and show you how to target your uh, how to target your ad. You can target by male or female or all. Uh, you have to pick a birthday. If you don't pick a birthday it'll show to all ages. You can choose by country. So choose them all. Uh, now this is where they uh, choose how many they want to buy, so per click or per impression. So let's say per click and they want to buy 100 clicks, 100 visitors. It's going to tell them to pay $10. I think right now we have the price set to $0.10 cents per click. I suggest we also lower that to $0.05 cents per click and make it $0.10 cents per uh, 1,000 impressions. So let's say per impression bad point about this is that they would ha we would have to tell it uh, per impression that we want to charge which would be point zero one or, or something like that and that would equal so anyway they're only paying one penny or ten cents for a hundred impressions it's not bad profit usually a thousand impressions is like five cents so um, let's choose an admin ad and this will just give it unlimited credits so this ad will have unlimited credits and it won't check for credits before it shows the ad uh, so click review ad and um, you can see what has been what is active and what is not active so let's click manage it's already approved we just need to make it active so once the ad has been submitted I will actually go in the back end and approve the ad or actually set it it's already approved but I will set it to to be active okay so they're all approved and these two are confirmed Alright, so that is a little rundown of some of the different features. Now the, the typical person will click here to advertise or click here to manage and they'll only be able to see their ads. Okay, 